Hey there ultrasound peeps, how's it going? Let's get right to it. Today we're going to go over aortic protocol. Now this is how I do it, the aortic duplex complete. So the normal aorta measures at the diaphragm 2.5 centimeters, at the mid abdomen 2 centimeters, at the bifurcation 1.8 centimeters, and the iliac arteries usually measure about, about 1 centimeter. Abdominal aortic aneurysms, or triple A's, are considered anything greater than 50% of a proximal segment of the aorta, or anything greater than 3 centimeters. And about 10% of the population above 65 years old has a AAA. And it is about three times more common in men. Well, on to the protocol. So to begin, you want to start sagittal in the epigastric region. You want to label aorta proximal long or aorta proximal sag. This is around the area about the left lobe of the liver. You can also see the superior mesenteric artery and celiac axis at this point. You want to take a sagittal grayscale image a sagittal grayscale image with measurement, a color Doppler image, and a color Doppler image with pulsed wave or spectral Doppler. After you acquire those images, you want to turn the transducer counterclockwise and go transverse and take an image of the transverse aorta. You'll see the transverse aorta. To the left of the aorta, you'll see the IVC, and posterior to the aorta, you'll see the, the vertebrae. Now, before everybody loses it in the comment section, yes, this is a very slim person. Easy images to acquire. You could even, I even used the linear. In your more obese patients, you're going to want to try to go obliquely, maybe through the, the lateral flanks. Maybe use your kidney as a window to achieve the aortic view. Um, oblique measurements can exaggerate the anterior posterior measure, measurements you'll take of the aorta. So also keep that in mind. But yes, uh, just because the patient's you know larger or not as photogenic doesn't mean you can't acquire great images. And it doesn't mean you should not try to. So once you're down there, you want to move down south to the mid aorta. You want to take a grayscale image, black and white. A grayscale image with your calibers. You want to measure from outer to outer. Then you want to take a color Doppler image. And then lastly, you want to take, lastly, you add spectral Doppler and measure your peak systolic velocity. After you're done with that series of images, turn your transducer counterclockwise and take your transverse aortic mid images with and without color Doppler. Moving on to the distal aorta. Again, you wanna take a grayscale image in sagittal. Always, if you see any internal echoes that are artifactual, always use your TGCs to clean that up. Uh, take your grayscale image and measure it in sagittal, measure anterior posterior again, outer to outer. Then take your color Doppler image, and then take your duplex color Doppler and spectral wave image, and measure peak systolic velocity. Then onto transverse, take your grayscale and your color Doppler image. Then onto the money shot, the bifurcation. This is what separates the newbies from the beasts. Nah, I'm just kidding. This can be uh, quite difficult to get on some people, but again, you shouldn't try. You cannot get this image on sagittal. For this image, you will have to go to the lateral right of the abdomen and angle obliquely to get it. You're going to want to get this at around the umbilicus level. You want to get grayscale and color Doppler images. Here you can see I took a grayscale with the, cur with the curved probe, the C16, and also the, the 9L, the linear probe. Uh, and I, the image I took for color Doppler, I used power Doppler. Because when you're using color Doppler, since one vessel is going towards the transducer and the other vessel is going away from the transducer, the colors are going to be blue and red. And I just like it for it to be all one uniform color. But since this vessel is very clean and there's no signs of atherosclerotic changes and no signs of stenosis, I just use power Doppler. Then you want to follow that up with the transverse image. This transverse image showing the bifurcation, I'm a, I'm a lot lower than the actual point of the bifurcation. Take your grayscale and Doppler images. With Doppler, you should be able to see the iliac veins as well as the iliac arteries. Then you want to interrogate the right common iliac artery. You're going to want to go sagittal in the right lower quadrant. You're going to get your sagittal image. Grayscale, sagittal grayscale image with measurements from outer to outer. Your color Doppler image. And lastly, throw some spectral Doppler and measure the peak systolic velocity. Then go transverse, take your grayscale image, and take your color Doppler image. It's nicer when both vessels fill up with color, but in this case, uh, I was getting a lot of artifact, so I had to put my scale up so the, only the artery is filling up with color in this image. Lastly, you want to go to your left iliac region and sagittal as well. Take your grayscale image. Grayscale with measurements, outer to outer. Take your color Doppler image, and then your color Doppler with spectral Doppler, and measure peak systolic velocity. And that's it, my friends. You are done with your aortic duplex complete. 
It's very simple. This is how I do it. I'm pretty sure some people might do it slightly different. That's just the way the cookie crumbles. Uh, please leave a message in the comment section. Tell me how you guys do it with different indications. The ordering doctor will specify. So that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed this quick one. Feel free to leave me your comments. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. All right, take care. Bye.